some of the best ways for firms to make certain that they never advertise false performance results? Mm. Well, some of the best ways to make sure that firms don't advertise false investment results uh, would be, first and foremost, have solid books and records. Uh, make sure that the uh, data that they're using is accurate and that their method of calculating is accurate. Uh, that, that's the basics. From there, they would need to make sure that they have a process, a strong process in place to ensure that quality data is being produced to put into that advertisement and a process in there to check. So a doer verifier system is probably just a baseline to start from. What should a firm do if it discovers that some of its performance results inadvertently include mistaken information? Well, a firm should, whether they're GIPS compliant or not GIPS compliant, should have some sort of error correction policy in place, something that will allow them to have a framework to decide whether an error is material or immaterial, uh, and then clear direction on what to do next. So if it was an immaterial error, you might say, our policy is to just correct it and be done with the matter. Uh, but if it was something that was material that an investor may have needed to rely upon to make an investment decision, then you would have to correct that and then redistribute it. If the SEC comes calling, uh, what is the best way for firms to, to respond to requests from the SEC for performance data? So when the SEC comes calling and they're asking for performance data, respond quickly respond accurately, respond fully. Uh, you need to make sure that you have the data in hand, your record keeping requirements, you know, they, those govern. And so you'll need to have that data at hand, uh, you know, at hand for two years and certainly recoverable from the last five. It gets a little more interesting when it comes to performance though in advertising because you need to keep the record for five years since that advertisement went out. And if you're GIPS compliant, you have an additional requirement to ensure that you've got that data for whatever period has been advertised. So if, you've, if you're showing numbers from 20 years ago, if you showed them last year, you need to make sure you've got that 20-year number for GIPS and then have it for five years under the SEC. So you need to have a solid process in place to have that data and be able to bring it forth quickly when the SEC demands it.